This is pre-calculus concept 18a. We're going to be looking at exponential functions and in particular how to evaluate an exponential function in this lesson. There are four boxes. Uh, let's get started with the definition. So an exponential function, you want to be able to recognize that when you see it. Um, anything of the form f of x equals b raised to the x power is going to be considered an exponential function. We can also say y equals b to the x power. And we always want to keep in mind that b is a positive constant other than 1. And x, your input, is can be any real number. So again, you want to be able to recognize this basic form of an exponential function. Uh, take a minute to jot this down in your notes. Okay, some quick examples of exponential functions. Uh, f of x equals 2 to the x is an exponential function with base b. Uh, g of x equals 1 third raised to the x power is an ex exponential function with base 1 third. Um, sometimes we'll see e as a base, so uh, h of x equals e to the x plus 2 is an exponential function. And our last one here, k of x equals 3 to the 2x plus 1 is also an exponential function. All four of those examples have a positive constant as the base and have uh, x appearing in the exponent. That's the key thing to help to remember. Um, down at the bottom here we have some functions that are not exponential. Um, x squared is not an exponential function because the base is not necessarily a positive constant. Um, the second one here has a base that's a negative number. That's not an exponential function. And the third one here has a base that's 1, which is also not an exponential function. So pretty simple, but you should be able to recognize an exponential function when you see one. All right, evaluating exponential functions is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to look at this one for our example, f of x equals 10 times 2 to the x. So if I want to evaluate f of 0, uh, the most important thing here is to remember order of operations. So when I have 10 and I multiply it by 2 to the 0 power, I want to remember that the first thing I would do would be the exponent. So 2 to the 0 power is 1, and 10 times 1 is obviously just 10. And that's what f of 0 is. Uh, if I ask you to do f of 2, f of 2 is going to be 10 times 2 squared. Again, I'm going to do the exponent first, so this is really 10 times 4. And that ends up being 40. And the last one here is f of 10. That's going to be f of 10 um, is 10 times 2 to the tenth power, and you'll most likely need your calculators for this one, but uh, you end up with an answer of 10,240. Uh, if you're not sure about how to do exponents on your calculator, be sure to ask about that in class. Um, sometimes we'll see word problems with exponential functions in them. Um, in this case, this is a money investment problem, and it says that your balance um, after x years ends up being 10,000 times 1.08 raised to the x power. Looks kind of complicated, but we'll actually see several examples of this later in the lesson. Um, so if it asks for a, the amount of investment after 20 years, I simply need to do f of 20. Again, keeping order of operations in mind. This is going to be 10,000 times 1.08 to the 20th power. I want to make sure I do that exponent first. Uh, pull out my calculator. Uh, and I get about 46610 dollars. Again, if you have trouble with uh, using your calculator, be sure to ask about that in class. Alright, you've got two U tries with this lesson. Um, for the given function in number 1, what is f of 5? Take a minute to figure that out. Okay, this one you should be able to do by hand. Uh, f of 5 is going to be uh, 3 times 2 to the 5th power. Now you can use your calculator, but 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which ends up being 32. And 3 times 32 is 96. Okay, try the second one here. 
Uh, I probably will need your calculator for this one. If f of x equals 500 times 1.03 to the x power, what is f of 10? Okay, for this one you should have gotten f of 10 equals 500, 1.03 raised to the 10th power. Uh, typing that in on your calculator, you end up with about $671.96 if this was a money problem.